Hello friends, I'm out walking a trail. For some reason here in Middle Tennessee this week we're gonna be getting temperatures in the high 70s. So I'm gonna be probably out all week trying to look for snakes. We'll see if we find uh, uh, some. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, here's the first find of the day. Something not completely unexpected but a welcome find nonetheless. It's an Eastern Newt. Very pretty, much darker than the one that I showed in the previous video. So yeah, very cool. Uh, they are just flipped them under a rock. So I'll probably put them back under the rock and keep going. Alright, little guy, here you go. Where your rock to go? Alright. Alright, so just like that, second harp of the day. So this is a northern cricket frog. They're pretty common around this area. They really like swampy habitat, so not super surprised to see them here. Um, yeah, very pretty. Just gonna uh, let them go and keep going. All right, here's the next herb of the day. This is a green tree frog. Uh, this is a species that's really interesting here in Tennessee, just because they have been able to spread out throughout most of the state, like kinda recently. Pretty much every year there's a new county record for this species, it's pretty crazy. Let's see if we can get a better look at this frog. Alright, much better view here over a tree. Uh, as I was saying, this tree frog has been able to very efficiently uh, extend their range here through Tennessee. It's pretty crazy. Um, they're super well adapted to just being even around urban areas, so that's benefited them a lot. But yeah, this is one of my favorite species in Tennessee. They're just so pretty. I really like them. But yeah, I'm gonna let this little guy go and keep looking. Maybe we'll see some snakes. All right, so here I actually have a very, very special frog just because of their extremely limited range here in this part of Tennessee. So this is a bird voice tree frog. Um, maybe you can see right there, but their thighs well, not anymore, but their thighs don't have the orange or yellow that the Cope's Grey would have. And uh, that's the only way to differentiate them other than coal. So here in Tennessee we have three tree frogs that look extremely similar. We have uh, this one, which is the Bird Boys tree frog. We have Cope's Grey tree frog. And we have Grey tree frog. The Cope's Grey are very widespread throughout the state. The bird boys have a lot of a, a lot more of a limited range to, let's say, West Tennessee and this small part of Middle Tennessee, where I'm at. And the gray tree frog have just been found in Memphis area. But yeah, this is uh, just because of the range. This is a very very special tree frog around here. I've only seen one before, so very cool. I'm gonna see if I can get a better look at them. All right, there they are. So this is super, super green compared to the other, like, let's say, Cope's Grey and Bird Boys that I've seen. Most of the other ones are, like, very grayish, but this one is super, super pretty. Beautiful, all right. I'm gonna put them back where I found them and keep going. All right, here's the first snake of the day. It's really inside a rock crevice, but this is a cotton mouth. One of the venomous species that we have here in Tennessee. They have a very restricted range in Middle Tennessee, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this guy alone. Uh, hopefully we'll find one that's like actually outside, so we can take a look at them. Alright, I'm gonna start doing some creek walking, but yeah, here's the first salamander of the day. This is a southern two-line salamander. It's very common around this area in Middle Tennessee. Uh, very neat. I really do like finding them though. They do have some pretty coloration. But yeah, I will uh, let this guy back under the rock and keep going. There's a blue heron over there. That's pretty neat. Um, I also do like birds, so I'll probably show a few here and there that I find interesting or that I really like. But yeah, pretty neat. Alright, I just spotted this very random green frog. Um, <laughs> I cannot really get a better look. They're like super far down, but trust me, they're there. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna keep going. 
Well, there is a fence lizard out basking in this plank, or on this plank rather. Uh, this is a species that I don't see super often in this park, so pretty happy about that. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> let this little lizard uh, keep enjoying the sun and see if I can see more snakes, which still, it has been pretty slow with snakes. Only a cotton mouth so far, but maybe we'll get some luck later. Well, it's been a pretty slow day, but the view here is super pretty. I'm just kind of gonna wait until it cools down a little bit and see if I can find any more snakes. Maybe some crossing the trail, hopefully. We will see. Well, a guy who was just hike hiking asked me if I was looking for snakes. And uh, I said yes, and then they literally pointed like super close to them. And they spotted this cotton mouth. Uh, it's pretty close to where I saw the one that was tucked in the rock crevice. So it's pretty neat. This one's a different one, of course. This one's a lot smaller, but uh, very cool. Super small juvenile. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get a better look at this, and then I'll talk a little bit more about this snake. I feel like it's a little bit harder to work with juveniles than it is with adults, especially for pictures. But yeah, this is a cotton mouth. Um, they're in Middle Tennessee, just not kind of everywhere. The range is really, really limited to just like... I want to say the upper parts of the Cumberland, near where Kentucky is and whatnot. All the way to Land Between the Lakes, I guess, in in Middle Tennessee. Um, they haven't gone through the Cumberland into Nashville. I guess, I don't know, it is kind of odd, but at the same time, the type of habitat that the inner Nashville Basin has doesn't allow them to really, like, let's say, hibernate, for example, so... It kind of makes sense that they haven't gone through the Cumberland, but yeah. So their range is limited here in Middle Tennessee. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna see if I can get some quick pictures and let them keep doing what they were doing. Well, this is probably the best pose that I'm gonna get out of this snake. So since they were just crawling around, I'm just gonna take them exactly to where I started luring them out from, and then let them keep doing their thing. But yeah, super cool, and well, second cotton mouth of the day, we'll see if we see any more. Alright, so there's a third cotton mouth over there. <laughs> Clearly way too far in the rock crevice this time. This even farther away than the other one. You can kind of see them there, but man, so far away. But yeah, third one of the day. Remember how I said that I don't see fence lizards here that often? Well, <laughs> maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. Here's just two basking on this concrete... Um, what do you call this? I guess just piece of concrete. Pretty neat. Well, I kind of got bored of waiting for it to cool down a little. So I did a little bit more flipping and I found this little newt. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, I'm just gonna let this guy crawl back into his rock. Alright, so I just flipped that rock and there was a cotton mouth under that. A super tiny one. Um, yeah, this is the first time I ever flip a cotton mouth, or a venomous snake for that matter. That's crazy, wow. Alright, I'll get some quick pictures of this little uh, snake and then I'll try to do my best to put them under the rock again. No promises though, of course, I don't want to put myself in danger. This one being all coiled is super nice, so I'll get some nice pictures of them. Look at them, this one is... A lot darker than the other one, which is pretty cool. Shows how much variance this species has, especially when they're juveniles. Alright, so what I did is that I placed this like part that's a little bit elevated so it wouldn't squish the cotton mouth right beside the cotton mouth. And placed the rock right there, so if they wanna crawl back under the rock they can. Probably make them crawl back under the rock, but yeah, this is what I did, so they wouldn't be squished and I wouldn't put myself in danger. But yeah, very cool, I'm gonna see if I can find any more snakes. If not, I say this was a pretty productive day. Alright. Yep, there they go, back under the rock. 
This is the best I could do, but... Oh well. Anyway. Time to keep going. <laughs> Alright, so inside this crevice there's a toad. Obviously I cannot tell if this is an American toad. Or a fowler's from here, but... That's pretty neat. It's so, so tight too. <laughs> cool. Alright, it is starting to cool down, so I'm gonna start heading back. And hopefully there will be snakes crossing the trail. We will see though, it has been pretty slow today. It's been pretty productive though, but... Yeah, let's see if we get one last luck boost. Well, I'm back at the parking lot and I didn't really find anything. My plan of looking for snakes after it cooled for a little bit did not pay off today. Um, but yeah, I think I will end the video here. Thanks everyone for watching and I wish you all a great day or night.